Hello and welcome to Vanguard Live Sports. My name is Damlola Ogunshaki and of course today we'll be reviewing of course uh, the themes and sports and mostly the Caribbean Cup and um, uh, Messi's uh, Ronaldo absent for first time in a decade. That's for the UEFA Player of the Year shortlist and also uh, we'll be looking at uh, that of the new uh, goalkeeper a lot for Chelsea. Now starting with um, of course uh, the of course, the um, Caribbean Cup we had um, yesterday. We had Sheffield uh, Fulham playing. Just uh, played the uh, Sheffield Wednesday, and that um, Fulham um, won the match with 2-0. And of course, Fulham will face uh, West London rivals Brentford in the Carabao Cup uh, fourth round after a comfortable 2-0 win over a Championship side that Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, the close range finishes from Abu Kubaka, um Kamara, and Bobby uh, put the Cottagers in uh, charge in the first half. Uh, the home side should have won by, but, uh, by more, but uh, Anthony pulled a good chance wild and hit the bar with uh, a lob. Uh, the debut in round four is a repeat of last season's and championship playoff uh, final won by Fulham. Uh, the game returned the Cottagers to the Premier League, where they have found it tough going so far, uh, suffering uh, two defeats and conceded seven goals in the process. However, they did score three at the Leeds on Saturday and once again demonstrated their sharpness in front of goal on Wednesday uh, despite uh, fielding a large second string um, side. Of course, the knockout um, showed uh, speed and awareness to set up Kamara for his goal before Josh provided the cross for Real to poke in the, uh, the second. Uh, Wednesday had made an encouraging start to this season but uh, contributed plenty to the tie. But, uh, uh, found home goalkeeper Merrick Rojak in a uh, fine uh, form. And talking about Chelsea also, Chelsea trashed uh, Bansley 6-0 uh, for the match yesterday. And of course, they eased uh, into the fourth round of the Carabao Cup uh, where they will meet with uh, Tottenham uh, with a crushing win, of course, over Bansley. Uh, Bansley. The Blues overwhelmed their championship of the seats. Opponent at uh, Stamford uh, Bridge with Kai Harvard registering his first uh, goal in English uh, football before kicking on uh, to seal a brilliant hat trick. Um, Tammy Abraham, uh, Ross Berkeley and uh, Olivia Gerard were also on target for Chelsea, who handed um, a debut to uh, Thiago Silva, while a fellow new uh, signing, Ben Chewell, uh, registered an assist as a late substitute. Of course, uh, uh, talking about uh, Kai Havertz's uh, performance, uh, the Chelsea boss, that's uh, Frank Lampard, sounds pretty impressed. He says that uh, it was a great exercise for him, that's for Kai Havertz, uh, for another game to see how, um, of course, things went off the ball. But of course, they have great freedom on the ball and also which contributes to uh, Tammy Abraham. And of course, saying from Chelsea, says uh, from um, from Frank, it's saying this is the best of many to come. I was still expecting that, of course, talking about uh, Dame still playing for Champions League, uh, this uh, new Champions League and Premier League, and still uh, continuing for the fourth round, uh, qualifying for the fourth round of, uh, of Carabao Cup. And Fleetwood also played Everton, but Everton won uh, with 5-2. Uh, they beat uh, Everton beat Fleetwood in a lively Carabao Cup uh, game to set up fourth round tie against West Ham. Uh, of course, Richard seen added the toughies ahead and then doubled uh, their lead after a 1 2 with uh, Alexi Wobi. Uh, Mark Duffy gave uh, League One Fleetwood hope, but it will be swept uh, home from eight yards a minute later. Why Callum Camp uh, scored a bicycle kick for Joy uh, for Joy um, side before Bernard killed the game off. And Moise Keane netted in um, injury time. Uh, of course, there will be question marks about um, everything and England goalkeeper Jordan Pick, uh, Pickford's performance again uh, considered that the first uh, match was considered to be, uh, the, of course, his fault. But coming from um, everything's boss, who says, um, and that's um, um, Ancelotti, Ancelotti, who says that uh, it's not um, Pickford's uh, fault, that it was just a normal game, just like every other game, and it's just a uh, a normal goal so that it's not really a uh, Jordan's fault and now talking about uh, Leicester City and Asna as Asna's match of course Asna's, uh, Asna also beat uh, Leicester City to qualify for the fourth round of the of the Carabao Cup as and uh, you know talking about Asna's performance this time around I think it has really been wonderful since the season resumed ever since also complained the community shield with um, Liverpool of course, uh, Christian Fuchs' uh, own goal and Edin Katia poked finished um, 
of course, uh, gave uh, Arsenal victory over uh, Leicester City and set them up for a potential uh, fourth round uh, uh, Carabao Cup tie against uh, Liverpool. And of course, there was little uh, that the folks could do as uh, Nicolas, uh, Nicolas uh, angled efforts hit him after coming off the post and went in. Uh, of course, Ingetia settled the tie in the closing stages, uh, stabbing in after fine work from substitute um, Hector. And of course, earlier City, Jim Madison hit the post on his first start of 2020-2021. And Arsenal will play Liverpool, uh, of course, uh, today if uh, the, uh, in the next round if Premier League champions beat League One in Lincoln today. Um, of course, Wednesday's results uh, continued the Gunners' impressive start to the season. Don't we reach, uh, they have won Community Shield on penalties. Uh, manager Mikel um, Ateta made seven changes but still fielded a strong side, although there was again no place for Misuto Zio. Uh, but uh, Bukaya Saka um, again demonstrated his readiness for regular first team action while Inkitia remains uh, a predatory uh, finisher. And of course, Arsenal's performance, a lot of people are really looking forward to how they will, how their performance will be for this, uh, for this uh, new season at uh, Premier League. And of course, the next uh, uh, Champions League, how they will be, if considering their matches now, they've been doing very great. And that shows that Mikel Ateta is currently, uh, of course, um, changing the team. But talking about changing the team, uh, we sure they're still going to restructure just like Liverpool, where they started to restructure from the beginning. And of course, a lot of teams are still suffering from uh, what uh, their fans are calling, uh, um, I don't know, I think drop out, drop off, and as most of the teams are not really doing well. Like Leicester City, you know, the way they did, uh, they performed uh, last year, uh, before uh, the uh, last season before uh, the COVID. It was really, really uh, great. But after they returned from COVID to, co to complete the season, it was their performance was really poor. But we hope the season will change for them. But seeing that they've lost to Arsenal for this Carabao Cup, uh, we're still looking forward to their next performance. And uh, talking about uh, football, um, Talking about the new football signing, um, goalkeeper signing, Chelsea signed uh, Edward uh, Mendy from Stade uh, Arenas. Uh, Chelsea's head turning summer of spending continues with the arrival of the new goalkeeper to help compete with Kepa for the starting position. Uh, the Blues have at long last, of course, today confirmed the signing of Edward Mendy from League One Club, who joins on a four-year deal for a transfer fee in the region of uh, 20 to 25 million pounds um, plus um, euros plus some add-ons is the uh, sixth uh, major first team signing of the transfer window as Chelsea make up for lost time on the transfer ban by taking advantage of a pandemic depressed market I know uh, of course the goalkeeping has been one of the uh, it's one of the questions of Chelsea where people are saying, of course, the goalkeeper is really, not really trying. But though Mendy is not yet, um, of course, the household name, uh, people are still looking forward to it and are hoping that uh, Mendy will actually do great and, of course, um, perform great for them. And uh, we're thinking that he should be available to play uh, this weekend for Chelsea. And... Um, Talking about, of course, uh, Messi, the UEFA Player of the Year shortlist, Messi, Ronaldo, absent for the first time in the ticket. Chelsea, that's uh, Messi and Ronaldo. Uh, of course, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, they are absent for the first time. Of course, uh, the Bayern Munich duo, Robert Lewandowski and Manuel, uh, plus uh, Manchester City's uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, we are nominated for the 2020 edition, of course, on Wednesday. But in a sign of changing times, uh, Messi and Ronaldo didn't make the top three after lean, uh, coming up short, uh, short in the Champions League. Uh, Messi star, Mer uh, Barcelona star Messi won the UEFA award in 2010 to 2011 and 2014 to 2015, having been nominated six times in the past 10 season. While uh, Ronaldo of Juve of Juve has uh, collected the accolade uh, three times in 2013, 2014-16, uh, 2015, 2016 season, and 2016-2017 season. Uh, of course, all while playing for Real Madrid, but he has been shortlisted uh, nine times, finishing second in 2017 to 2018 and third on five uh, occasion and talking about uh, Ronaldo and Messi uh, <laughs> um, you know Messi uh, and Messi and Ronaldo they just managed like both players just managed uh, 
um, goal, three goals in eight Champions League outings last season, trailing 15 gold, uh, goal uh, Lewandowski by considering uh, distance. And uh, of course, um, it's Juve side was stunned by Lyon in the last 16 of the Champions League as they game bombed out Europe's premier competition. And Messi suffered, um, of course, from greater humiliation as um, eventual winners Bayern trashed them 8 2 in the quarter finals. And talking about uh, Lessi, uh, Messi and Ronaldo, of course, uh, Ronaldo is 35 and Messi is 33. Have moved beyond their prime, but this is a question if they are still doing great. Of course, uh, Messi uh, earlier this uh, during this transfer window, he had some problem with Barcelona where he decided that he was going to join. He was going to join uh, Pep, Golia, Pep Guardiola's Man City, and but later still decided to stay at the Noe camp. Uh, we're still looking forward to how they will do better this uh, season. Of course, they can't stay on the list. They can't stay in the list for a long time, uh, for forever. Of course, we have new players that are coming up. And uh, talking about uh, today's uh, fixtures, uh, let's talk about today's fixtures for the Carabao Cup. And for the Carabao Cup for today, we have... Um, uh, Bristol City will play in Aston Villa and Lincoln City will play in uh, Liverpool. Manchester City will also be playing uh, uh, Bournemouth. And of course, uh, we can't talk about that uh, without talking about the UEFA Super, Super Cup, which will be played today. Of course, UEFA Super Cup uh, is, played, uh, is contested between the winner of uh, Champions League and also that of, uh, Europa, of Europa League. And of course, uh, the of course, it's been a long time since uh, Bayern Munich uh, contested these fixtures. And the last time the Bavarians were here, it was uh, Pep Guardiola's debut um, against, uh, against Chelsea. And that feels like a different era now. But um, a number of players who played that game are still with them today. And of course, uh, Bayern's first UEFA Super Cup in Chelsea. And there's a question, can Ansi bring up the cup? Uh, another trophy. Of course, the, the German champion Bayern have uh, quite simply been a cessation from since um, from since the turn of the year, going 31 matches without defeat in all competitions and winning 30 of those, and that includes uh, thumping victories over Chelsea and Barcelona at the end of that season and route to beating uh, Paris Saint Germain in the Champions League final. Uh, worrying, uh, of course, worryingly for various domestic and European rivals, the one month break between season has done little to slow them down. Of course, they will not complete in the UEFA Super Cup for a fourth time and need to be open to make it back, uh, back to back trophy. Having uh, defeated Chelsea on Perns in the 2013 edition. And talking about Sevilla, Sevilla have more experience of playing in this. Uh, one of fixture given that, that this is the fourth appearance in six uh, seasons though they have lost uh, each of those uh, previous uh, previous three games unlike their opponents uh, sevilla have uh, been in action have not been in action this season with a three uh, two victory over uh, levante last week they are only out in since and overcoming uh, inter in a chilling final and uh, talking about this match sevilla and um, Sevilla and Bayern Munich, uh, we actually would like to know your opinion who you think will uh, win the, of course, the UEFA uh, Super Cup because this match is actually going to be a tough one between Sevilla and uh, Bayern Munich who has not won it in seven years and who has not actually competed in seven years and also that of Sevilla who has actually played, of course, four times but have lost uh, the Cups three times. So we have to know who you think we win uh, the UEFA Super Cup. Please leave your opinion in the comment section. And of course, if you want to get the results, you can always get it on our website and also know more of the sporting stories on our website. That's uh, www.vanguardngr.com. And you can always, of course, uh, subscribe to our social media platforms uh, to get more of our top stories and what is happening around the world. And of course, it's showing on your screen. And that's all on today in the new on, of, on Vanguard Live Sports. It's bye from me in Damlola Ogushaki.